Hi, my name is Meredith Price, and in this tutorial I will explain the new Blend Mode Transfer Function feature. Within Amaris, the MIP Volume Rendering Mode is used most often. We encourage users to also render with the Blend Mode because it adds opacity to the voxel rendering. Here, you cannot determine if the green granules are above or below the red actin on the left in MIP Mode, but you can on the right using the Blend Mode. The Blend Transfer function is now found under the Volume Settings tab for Blend Mode. It defines the opacity of the voxels in the rendering. The Transfer function is overlaid on the Intensity Histogram and its vertical axis is Opacity. Full Opacity at the top and Full Transparency at the bottom. Two square control points and a green line define the values of the Transfer function in the histogram. You can click and drag all of these. Again, the transfer function defines the opacity of the voxels and the settings on the display adjustment window define the colors assigned to those voxels. Here's an example where the image's intensities are assigned a spectrum lookup table. The transfer function for the blend mode settings was not changed on the right compared to the left. Therefore, the same voxels are rendered at the same opacity levels. However, the display adjustment maximum threshold was changed, so the colors assigned to those voxels are now different. In this example, if we keep the display adjustment settings the same, but change the minimum threshold for the transfer function, we can see that less voxels are rendered. That is, the blue lower intensity voxels are no longer seen. And finally, at the bottom of the tab, you'll see a peak option for the graph shape. Clicking peak adds a third control point and the rendering is now restricted to a band of intensity values. We've found this option to be useful while tracing neurons. Now, within Amaris, I'll show you how to interact with the transfer function. First, click on blend in the volume settings tab, then click on the left hand or minimum control point. By moving it to the right, I make transparent the low intensity voxels that are blocking the view of the higher intensity voxels. By moving the second control point, I adjust the opacity. As I bring the point down, you see an apparent change in brightness as the low intensities are now less opaque and the high intensities are seen. As in the slides, you can apply a lookup table to the channel. Here you can better see how the higher intensity voxels in red are visualized. And finally, here is an example of peak mode. By dragging the control point on the left, you can change the width of the peak. By dragging the top point, you can change the opacity. And by clicking on the line, you can change the position of the peak. If you have questions about these features or any others, please reach out to your local sales and support teams. You can find their contact information on the contact page on our website.